Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 11. Today, we wrap our training on the Contacts applet. I know we've had several days inside of this applet, but arguably, it is one of the most important, if not the most important, so I want to make sure we cover it in detail and in depth. Finally, we are going to wrap Contacts with the ability to archive, delete, and restore Contacts and we're going to dive in right now into our contacts applet on the left hand side second applet down <clears throat> so with contacts you've got two different places uh, where contacts go when you're attempting to get rid of them so the contact archive is basically sort of like a holding cell or purgatory or an area where when you get rid of the contact it goes until you get rid of it a second time to truly remove it from your database. So that'll make a little more sense as we go through. Let's say uh, Mickey Mouse uh, calls me back and says, Marty, never call me again, never email me again, never text me again. I wouldn't work with you if you were the last agent on the planet. Um, you know, Minnie is going to get her license and I'll work with her. So leave me alone. That's a contact that at this point that I probably want to get out of my database, right? I certainly don't want to accidentally add it to a smart plan or anything along those lines. Like Mickey has been clear, do not contact me in any way, shape or form again. And so in that case, I've got to get him out of my database. I'm going to do that a couple of different ways. So the first way is I can come over to the three dots on the far right hand side of this contact record and I can choose archive. So there's option number one, right? Archive is the first step in removing a contact from your database. So I can do it by clicking on the three dots. I can also click Mickey's name. And remember by clicking the name, I get the bulk action menu. Even though it's only one contact, I have the ability to archive a contact from the bulk actions dropdown. We showed you that yesterday. I can also go into the contact itself, open up that contact record, and I can click on the three dots here and choose to archive as well. So three different places where you can archive a contact. We're gonna go ahead and archive Mickey at this point. Basically it's gonna say, hey, are you sure you would like to archive this contact? You can restore contacts from command settings later on. Yep, I'm sure I wanna archive it. So you can now see one contact has been archived. You've got view archive. So if you didn't click on that, cause it does pop up and then goes away. Where are the contacts now? Well, technically, Mickey is not completely out of our database yet. We're going to have to click on the drop down next to our name, and we're going to go back into that settings menu way back on day one. And this time, we're going to go into command settings, contacts, and then contact archive. So contact archive will then show me all of the contacts that I have previously archived. Now, some things to be aware of, if a contact is in the archive and you attempt to import a similar contact with the same phone number or email, you will actually not be allowed to import that contact. It'll say it's a duplicate. It'll kick back that portion of your import or say email already exists, phone number already exists. And you're going to be looking for that email and phone number in your contacts. You're going to say it's not here. Marty, what's going on? Well, remember, it's checking your archive as well. If for any reason you say, hey, I didn't really mean it. Sorry, Mickey, I wanna bring you back to my database. You can click on restore and that would bring Mickey back to the database. So if we go back to contacts, Mickey then shows back up. There he is, no harm, no foul. But if we do truly wanna get Mickey all the way out of our database, we're gonna archive him. Then we're gonna go into settings, again, command settings, contacts, contact archive, and then we are going to click on the trash can. Then it's gonna say, hey, this will permanently delete this archived contact. This is your point of no return. Once Mickey's gone, Mickey's gone, gone, can't get him back, and we would have to manually enter Mickey's information or import him using a CSV file, etc. So at this point, I can say, okay, and Mickey is gone. If I do a quick refresh of my screen, we're gonna see my contact archive is now empty. Now, some of you may not have been aware of the contact archive. You're going to your contact archive for the first time and you're gonna see a whole series of contacts that you thought were out of your database, but were really hanging out in the archive. Just as a heads up, you can click this checkbox here. That will put a check mark next to all of your contacts. You can even choose to show up to 50 at a time and then select all. 
And when you do, you will have the option to delete all. So you don't have to go one by one by one by one, just a heads up. Um, if you have a whole bunch of archived contacts and you're like, hey, there's one in here that I didn't mean to archive, you can also search your archived contact list and find that person that way. Then choose to either restore or permanently delete that contact. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you, I show you at extreme caution. Please be very aware that this is something that if used inappropriately can really ruin your day and certainly ruin your database. But in the event, for any reason, you're at a point where you have a whole lot of contacts that you wanna get rid of, or you may wanna start your database over from scratch for some reason. Maybe you, um, I have had people that have imported their phone uh, or had their phone imported for them, realize that it's a complete mess and they just wanna start back over from scratch and do more of a curated import. There is a database wipe option. So I wanna show you that option here. Again, we're in our settings menu, command settings, contacts, database wipe. And you can see the first step would be archiving all of our contacts. And it'll say this will move all of your contacts into your contact archive. So if we were to do that, it says, hey, this is going to move all your contacts in your car contact archive. I could choose to archive all of my contacts. And now if we go back to the contact archive, there they all are. Right. So now I only have 10 on this list, but if I had more, I could show up to 50. I could check all the names here. Right. And this is where I showed you, you could delete them all or you can restore them all. I'm gonna go ahead and restore them all because we are gonna need them for future reference. But if we go back to database wipe, you can see that you can also delete all archived contacts. So in the event that you have more than 50 in there and you just wanna get rid of all of them at once, you can choose to delete all archived contacts and you, this is one of those real hardcore security checks. Command will actually make you type out the phrase delete all archived contacts. That exact phrase, case sensitive, no misspelling, in the box below, and then click on delete all archived contacts. Once you do that, there's no getting them back. Just like a single contact being gone, all of them being gone means they are all gone, gone, gone forever. So use this with extreme you know, caution and uh, be very judicious about using this in your database, but I did want to make sure that you were aware. So how do we get rid of a contact? First, we have to archive it, then we have to delete it. What if a contact got archived on accident? We can go into the contact archive, find that contact and restore it. What if I want to get rid of all of my database? Database wipe, all contacts archived, then all contacts deleted. What if I want to restore more than one contact? Use your checkbox. That way you can go ahead and restore up to again 50 at a time to get those back into your database so that's it for today guys just one of those situations where hey you come across a contact that wants to be removed um, maybe it's you know whatever somebody you no longer want to work with any of those situations that's how you de you archive and then delete a contact that's it for today guys a wrap on the contacts applet join me tomorrow when we start diving into the tasks applet then we'll head on to smart plans and our referral network from there as always i hope you're having a fantastic day and i'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon